Imagine you've been living in your home, you've been keeping up with the maintenance, and you've been paying the homeowner's insurance policy year after year on time. And then one day you open up the mailbox and there's a letter from your homeowner's insurance company saying that they are canceling your policy. Imagine paying for homeowner's insurance for decades only to suddenly receive a letter that your longtime insurer is not renewing your policy. Thousands of homeowners across the country are receiving letters of non-renewal or cancellation from their insurance companies. And the insurance companies are claiming extreme climate conditions have increased the number of claims and therefore they can't afford to continue with the policies. But some of these letters are claiming that the homeowners just have too much stuff in their yard. AAA had just notified him it would not renew his homeowner's insurance. It said he had debris and hazards in his yard. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at what's happening to people across the country, why home insurance rates have skyrocketed, why insurance companies are canceling policies, and why some insurance companies are not offering new policies in some states altogether. The insurance business is like any other business. If they can't turn a profit, then they can't stay in business. And over the last few years, with the increase in climate events, wildfires, hurricanes, flooding, those payouts are becoming more and more expensive. Rising home values and inflation means that replacement costs and rebuild costs have increased, which means the insurance company is passing those costs on to the consumer. And because of those higher premiums, a lot of homeowners have opted to self-insure and cancel their homeowner's insurance. But how does the insurance model work? The insurance business model works like this. Insurance companies assess the risk and damage of a property and determine what the premium is for the homeowner. The properties they insure have varied levels of risk and they take the riskiest assets and spread it across the entire group. They reserve some funds to pay out claims and they invest the others. And they typically make their profits based on safely held investments. Now the insurance rate is going to be a reflection of the area, where you live, what part of the country you live in. They also look at the condition of the home and if you've made any previous claims. Now, if you live in an area that doesn't have climate risk, you haven't made any claims and your home is in good condition, but the other element is inflation. Inflation is going to affect the insurance rate because it affects the rebuild and replacement costs. The more expensive it is to rebuild and replace, the higher the insurance rate. Now, although certain areas of the country have been hit harder than others, nationally, the average homeowner insurance policy went up 10 to 12% last year and 20% from 2022 to 2023. And that is a direct reflection of inflation affecting the insurance rate. It is also because even though those wildfires are affecting California and the hurricanes are affecting the Southern states, those insurance companies are spreading that risk across the entire group. So even if you don't live in a high risk area, your insurance group is spreading that risk across all of the property assets. So you're gonna feel that increase regardless of where you live. The number one state with the largest increase in premium for 2024 is Louisiana at 23% followed by Maine at 19% and Michigan at 14% increase over last year. And the state with the highest average premium is gonna be Florida at $11,759 a year. But some homeowners are not getting an increase in their policies, they're getting a cancellation notice. The nation's largest homeowners insurance company, State Farm, has decided they won't accept new applications for property in California. And some states not only are canceling policies, but they're not writing any new policies. In fact, last year, 230,000 policies were not renewed in California. And in Florida, last year, over 300,000 policies were either canceled or not renewed. And last year in Louisiana, 120,000 homeowners received cancellation notices on their homeowner's insurance. Now, many homeowners have decided to leave those high-risk states and instead move to a state that's a little bit more friendly on their budget when it comes to insurance costs. Now, over the last 25 years, I've built relationships with the top agents in the country. And if you're thinking about selling, click the link down below. I'll call you, we'll have a short conversation, find out exactly what your situation is, match you with the right agent, and help you sell that home. Whether you're in a high risk area or not, they can help you sell that home and get you onto your next home with as little stress as possible. Now, climate risk obviously is an issue. There has been a significant increase in climate events over the last several years. In fact, in California, since 2009, there has been a 270% increase in the risk of wildfires. Last year, the U.S. saw a record number of 28 climate and weather-related disasters, with a total of $1 billion in damages. And to give you something to compare it to, the national average is 8.5. And when you add on inflation and rising home values, the rebuild and replacement costs have gone through the roof. Now, aside from climate issues, insurance companies are also canceling for other reasons. 
From drones to airplanes, even satellites, your insurance company may be watching from above. Some insurance companies are using drone images and satellite images to review homeowners' policies, and they're looking for things like roof issues, roof maintenance, moss on the roof, undeclared trampolines, excessive yard debris, like this homeowner. Apparently they have some pictures and they noticed clutter. When we last met C.J. Sven of Oakley, AAA had just notified him it would not renew his homeowner's insurance. It said he had debris and hazards in his yard. They're also looking for overhanging trees, and they're even looking at empty swimming pools. AAA cited a puzzling reason for not renewing Marilyn Smith's policy. She and her husband had drained their swimming pool to conserve water during the drought. She just flat out told us that the, because the pool was empty. So what do you do if you receive a premium notice that's gone through the roof or a non-renewal or cancellation notice? If you've had a premium increase, the first thing you want to do is review your policy. You want to get in the habit of looking at your insurance policy on a yearly basis, especially if you've seen a big spike in your premium. You want to make sure that you actually need all the coverage that you have. You also want to look at the deductible. That's what I did this year, to be honest. My insurance went through the roof. I am not in a flood zone. I'm not in a high-risk climate area. But unfortunately, I live in an area that has flood zone risks. So my insurance did go up. So one of the things that I did was I raised my deductible. And raising your deductible does help lower that premium. And the other thing I recommend is to shop around. Now, there are a lot of online companies, but I do think that going to a broker is a better way to go. Going to an insurance broker will allow you to have access to multiple different insurance companies at the same time. And that broker will be able to shop comparison company to company with the same coverage on the same type of policy. Well, what if you received a non-renewal or cancellation notice? Well, non-renewal and cancellation are two different things. The non-renewal basically means that the policy is good up until the expiration date of that policy. Cancellation typically has a 45 day or 60 day expiration time, regardless of when your policy ends. Now the states like California, Florida, Louisiana, most of those states were non-renewal states. And if you have a non-renewal insurance policy, you wanna start shopping for another policy immediately. Now some states are offering their own insurance coverage options, but those policies typically are way more expensive than going to a broker. Now, if you received a cancellation notice, you wanna call that insurance company immediately, find out what needs to happen to remediate the cancellation. Usually they will give you a punch list of exactly what needs to happen in the time frame that it needs to happen in. Now, if they mention drone images in the letter, I would absolutely ask to see those images. And then I would advise taking your own. And if you can't take your own, hire a professional to do so. If they're telling you that your roof needs to be replaced and it legitimately does not need to be replaced, then you want to hire a roof inspector to get out there, inspect that roof and have that report ready and sent to the insurance company. Now, a record number of homeowners are going without insurance entirely or self-insured. And in fact, 6 million homeowners homeowners last year went without homeowners insurance. But if you have a mortgage on your property, the mortgage company will require you to have insurance and 58% of all households have outstanding mortgages. Now, if you have a premium increase, you may decide you want to sell the property. You can't afford it anymore. The premiums are too high, so you're going to sell it. But if your property insurance has been canceled, that is going to pose a problem when you go to sell the property. Selling an uninsured property will sell for less and it limits the number of buyers because at that point, only a cash buyer can purchase the house. So it leaves a lot of homeowners that are being canceled in a conundrum. They can't get insurance. They can't sell the property. So they're really in a bind with ensuring the largest asset that they own. And looking into the future, the extreme weather conditions and climate events are going to continue to happen. And until we start to see the cost of materials come down, the cost of insurance will continue to rise. And until regulatory changes come in and government programs to help with these insurance costs come in, home affordability will continue to decline. It's an issue that we will continue watching. But if you want more information on what else is happening in the housing market, you're going to want to check out these videos. I'm Jen Sylvester, and I'm here to help you be a savvy home seller.